Hello, hello, YouTube. Welcome back. Let's play some Metroid Zero. So last time, we kind of failed at getting that energy tank. I'm pretty sure you can get it with the speed booster, but so I'm just gonna try that just once or twice, really quickly, to make sure I'm not just totally doing it wrong. Of course, we'd have to do it from this side, coming in. And I think I screwed it up because I blasted the platform, so... One quick try, and then we'll move on. Oh, I don't need that. Oh, I lost my speed when I... You, oh yeah, you lose your speed when you fall down the ledge. Okay, so that's not gonna work. I'll come back when I have the space jump. Just wanted to verify that. So let's go get our new suit upgrade. So we can play in the fire and the lava and all that fun stuff. Yeah, these jumps are much less annoying with that grabby grab action. Much less frustrating. So I think we're going to want to go across here right away. Go straight through. Because remember last time when we when we were exploring around where the various suit was, there was a statue facing to the right, a Chozo statue facing to the right. So I'm gonna try to come in from the right-hand side instead of from the left so I can get full, take full advantage of that, if possible, if it lets me up here. So I'm assuming it should. There's probably a way down there, isn't there? While we're here, let's get distracted by goodies. Even though it might be a trap. Yeah, it's kind of a trap, sort of, but these things won't go away, will they? Okay. okay, how are we supposed to get that with the with our bombs, with these things chasing us? That sounds very frustrating and not overly fun. Okay, and then we do this. So, there we go. That's how you do it. Barely had time to do that. So that kind of felt good to get it done nice and quick. Well, these guys are going to keep spawning, aren't they? That's probably the worst part about this. That's the frustrating part. And the dis disappearing blocks and everything else. Okay, so it's just an all-around pain in the ass area in general. But we got it done. Another, another missile pack out of the way. Oh, I forgot about that thing. And they're back. Oh, great. Let's kill your mommy. Does that sound like fun? Fuck it. Let's use some missiles on these suckers. My aim is so bad anyway. Why not? Save this some screen time, doesn't it? Okay, this time with less fail. Let's go straight up and hopefully it's not a dead end at this point in the game. And then I'm actually doing something right for once. That would be awesome. That would be very awesome. So yes, we've been here before. We didn't make it all the way up here. That's right. Guess look what I can do. Never mind. I can't do that at all, can I? This is a total waste of time. Yeah, I thought so. We can't quite jump high enough to get there at all, can we? So that was a waste. Oh well. Okay, so I can't get to that Chozo statue for a while. Let's power through this area. Oh, at least it wasn't a complete waste. I did get that missile tank, and I did learn something about the sequence and the order of things. Definitely not a lot of sequence breaking in this particular game. That's for sure. It's certain. They've really locked that down. As I said before, it creates a tighter experience at the expense of flexibility. 
means we won't get lost as much, so this is very for both sides, as I said before. Okay, this is just gonna get annoying. Let's never come back here again. I don't want to live here. It's not my vacation spot either. Okay, so now what I should have done eight minutes ago is come up this way. That felt sli really slick. Nothing. Anything up here? Maybe, but I don't know. Moving on. This is what we want. This is where we want to be. I missed the spider ball. I never remember the spider ball from the second Metroid game. It's a very underrated game, I find. I mean, it got... It was on the Game Boy, so... kind of got overlooked with all the bad graphics. The Super Metroid came out, so it also got overlooked again. Don't remember how to kill that. But luckily, we can get up here. We might need Super Missiles to kill that thing. These things which only bombs can kill. Fairly certain. You know what? I should have done that earlier. <laughs> I didn't end up freezing that guy, no problem. Oh well. I would have to freeze him like two or three times to get all the way up. Oh no, this isn't good. I'm sure the map objective told me to go here. Yes, I did. Okay, so I should be able to get through here. In theory. Oh, the bugs are eating it. I see. So you don't actually have to do anything. It's kind of a pop device type thing. Although I don't want the bugs eating me, that's for certain. Oh, okay, that's not good. Oh, it's a slow breaking one. That's very interesting and deadly, and I don't like it. And I want to wait for them to kill that thing before they attack me. Yes, my pretties. Eat. Feast. See, now they're actually hurting me. I guess when you get enough of them on you at once. That must be it. Okay. Another amazing upgrade. Nothing over here. Okay. Feeling good and we're only like 10 minutes in. I didn't waste all that much time at all. Now that I look at it this way. Now this lava doesn't hurt us at all. Same rules again as Super Metroid. Uh, this lava doesn't hurt us, and the the background heat radiation doesn't hurt us, and the acid lava hurts us slightly less. So yeah, all the same logic. Okay, this is a must-have, just like all energy tanks in the entire game. Can I shoot through this? It'll be faster and amazing and... Oh yes, thank you. Although basically I'm in water now. It's okay. So there's one tank I know where it is, and they, I could probably get there with a bomb jump, as I'm sure many people have mentioned to me by now. The other one must be later in the game, somewhere in Norfair, I assume. Hopefully before I face Ridley, but probably after. Why can't I grab that ledge? I don't know. Okay, how am I doing so far? Am I doing good? Am I, am I making efficient progress? Okay, back to... No oh wait, there's a save in right there, isn't there? I don't remember there being this many saves in the first game, but that's fine. I like lots of saves. Okay. Just for fun, let's just poke around here for a quick second. There's nothing glaringly obvious. Oh wait. Maybe 
maybe I can get through here. I can get through the lava now, can't I? Oh, I see. I have to get, I have to get the bugs to eat that. But I just killed the bugs with my bomb. I see how this is going to play out. I see your tricks. I get it. Okay. Yeah, so let's start this room over. Okay, so I kill the platform first, and I kind of have to lure the bugs in. Even if I bring them on my person. I don't know if this is a, a secret item, or just what I'm supposed to do. But, I feel all smart-ass now. Okay. Whoa. Okay, broke the floor. Lure the bugs in. Bring them with me. Come on, buddies. I got some food for you. Eat, eat, eat. Yes. Yes. Oh, the power. Alright, let's see what's in here. It looks pretty secret. Pretty special. Okay, well, that's how we get here. Now we know. So definitely not essential, just like all of these map directives are non-essential. Okay, so there's that glowing tube on the right, where we got stopped with the background heat wave thing. And now we know where to go. There's pretty much nothing, nothing to the right. That'll look, this will lead us to that big drop-off. Ooh, that looks deadly. Yeah, that's that big drop-off where we couldn't get up earlier. I'm not going to mess with that. There's nothing good there. I'll be honest, I have, a, I have a little map open that I googled for. It's pretty awesome. Alright, so it seems like a good place to end the episode. I was hoping to do more than just get the various suit, but I feel like we get lo got lost done today. I got lost done tonight. I recorded one Metroid and one Terraria. I'm getting pretty thirsty and tired, so thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.